Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek Disorder's uh, web series over HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be walking you through this series. Uh, today we're going to be go going over how to code the head section of your web page. And what you see on the screen right now is what our finished product will look like. Um, so what does it do when you run? Well, here we go. It displays nothing in the content part of your browser. The only thing it does display on the screen is this uh, fave icon right here and the title of your web page. All right. To get started, let's go ahead and create a new uh, HTML document. All right. First thing we want to do is save it. And I have a folder already set up on my desktop, and you'll want to create a folder also because for the first uh, few videos we'll be working out of one folder you want everything to go in the same folder for linking purposes but we're not uh, later on we'll go over how to link outside of a folder but right now everything's gonna be in the same folder okay I'm gonna name my uh, web page I'm just gonna call it home.html and I'm gonna push save alright if you remember when we set up the structure of an HTML5 document the first thing we need is our doc type so let's go ahead and put that in there alright alright next oops uh, next thing is we're gonna uh, open our HTML and I'm gonna go ahead and close it it's a good practice to get into the uh, as soon as you open something go ahead and close it and then go back up and add the content in between the opening and closing that way you don't forget to close stuff later on and it causes problems um, we're going to create our head section I'm going to go ahead and create the body section also even though we're not adding anything to it today it is a required uh, element for uh, your web uh, web pages alright uh, the first uh, element we're going to add to our head section uh, is what we call a meta element okay a meta, uh, a meta element uh, it provides information about the HTML uh, document that, and this information is called uh, metadata. Uh, search engine use it, uh, and they'll grab stuff from it for ranking. Uh, also, how to display, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the keywords and descriptions and stuff like that. Okay, so the meta element looks like that. It is a empty tag. Right, and we're going to add some attributes to it. Um, the first attribute is called a character set. Um, a char uh, the character uh, uh, set is a tr sorry. The character set attribute is just this right here. And of course, we have our equal sign, and then we have a, uh, our uh, double quotes to place our value in. So, what is a character set? Well, uh, if you want to know more about character sets. You, you can follow this link right here. I'll remember. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. Um, it isn't that. I mean, it is important, but it's not that important in HTML, especially if you're working in the U.S. and it's all English. Um, if you start working for a big company, it becomes more important. Also, it becomes a lot more important when working with uh, uh, like C++ and stuff like that. Uh, so a character set. Uh, uh, they they describe. Oh, well, there are identifiers to describe uh, a series of universal characters. Um, this, like, if you have, you know, ja the Japanese language, Chinese language, they don't have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They have different characters to, rep to you know, to use in their language. Uh, there's a lot of different characters out there throughout the world that, you know, that we need to be able to put on a web page or in a program. And so, I mean, we can't just throw them all in there. The, the computer has to, the browser, or whatever, has to be able to know which ones we want to use. And we do this by using character sets. Well, the character set we're going to use is called UTF-8. Um, this is the preferred uh, character set uh, for web pages and emails. Uh, so, and, and as I said, if you want to know uh, more detail about character sets, you can uh, check out this Wikipedia here, and it'll go. It'll have the history and a list of all the different character sets and such. Uh, I recommend if you're, especially if you're going further into programming, uh, please check that out. All right, um, but we're we're going to use 
the meta tag more than once. There, there's a lot of different uh, attributes we can put with it to help uh, SEO, uh, web, sit, uh, web search, uh, web <laughs> search engine rankings, and optimization. Um, so we're going to open up another meta tag, and we're going to use the attribute uh, name, the name attribute, and uh, so what what goes in the name? Well, the name can have four different uh, values. Uh, those values are like application name, author, description, generator, and keywords. We're going to be using uh, keywords and description today. Uh, those are the two most used ones. Um, the name attribute uh, is also, when you use a name attribute, you're also going to use a content attribute. The content attribute has one value and that's just text. Uh, what, what the content attribute does is you set the value for your name attribute. Like I said, it can have uh, application name, author, description, generator, keywords, and we're going to go ahead and set uh, the value to description. Okay, and as I said, we're going to have a content attribute to go with the name attribute and as I said its value is always text. What, well what does the content do? It describes the content for the value of the name attribute. So the name attribute says what the content is going to describe or, or what's going to be, what it's going to be. So we have the description. The content attribute is going to give us the description. Uh, so the description of our web page here and let's see I'm just gonna put uh, best IT and gaming tutorials on the inter internet there we go that's the description of my home page of gaming uh, sorry geek disorders home page alright and as I said we're gonna have one more meta tag it's going to be name again, except this time we are using keywords as the value. And just like last time, we had to have a content uh, attribute to go with that, so it can actually describe the keywords. And so, what are our what are my keywords going to be? Well, uh, uh, I'm not going to have any more than ten keywords. Ten keywords or less is is a good uh, limit. Uh, it, it, it's optimized for uh, search engines. A lot of search engines have kind of lowered the ranking of keywords. They don't they don't put as much weight behind them, but it's still a good idea to keep using them. Uh, also, uh, on description, uh, the con the content part uh, attribute with the description uh, value, uh, it can be longer than 65 uh, characters, it, and it should summarize. Uh, the content of your web page and it needs to be unique the con the content what you put in the content attribute when you're using the name de equals description that should be unique like like this one right here for uh, my home page I'm gonna use this uh, uh, value for content well if I create a about us web page for geek disorder I'm gonna change it to something like um, you know Geek disorder, uh, uh, you know about about us, about the history of geek disorder, or whatever I put on that page. I'm gonna try to describe it um, to the best of my ability. All right. So for keywords, we're gonna add some keywords for this web page for our home page, and since it, our home page is kind of a general overview, well, of course, we're talking about uh, geek disorder here, and you separate each keyword or key phrase uh, just with a comma. Uh, I'm gonna put IT uh, tutorials. Uh, I'm gonna put programming. Uh, I'm gonna put um, let's see, gaming. I'll put HTML5, CSS3, and that's pretty good. So we have our keywords uh, value for our name uh, attribute, and then we have our content, and we have those keywords listed. All right, and as I said, you want your keywords to be you kind of unique. Uh, you know, not all your web pages are going to have the same keywords. All right, uh, well, that's probably the last meta tag we're going to do. The next one, the next tag we're going to do is our title uh, tag. And what does that look like? Well, 
it's pretty easy it's just title and there we go and we're not going to add any attributes to this we're just going to uh, uh, place in our our content so what's our content well it's the title of uh, this web page so this web page I'm just going to call it geek disorder and then we'll call it home page so uh, your title needs to be um, you need to always have a title uh, because it's what's going to be displayed uh, in the title bar of the browser the tabs of the browser is also going to be used when someone favorites or bookmarks as the name of the bookmark um, it should describe your web page to, to a certain extent like this is my home page of for my geek for geek disorder and uh, um, it needs to be unique well I'm going to keep Geek Disorder the same because every web page is going to be on the Geek Disorder web page, uh, website. But this last part, this home page, is going to change. It might be about us, news, contact us, something along that line. Uh, also, your title does not need to be over 65 characters in length because when a search engine comes along to display it, most of the time they don't display more than 65 characters. And so you want your whole title to fit in there. All right. And so. What do we have so far? Well, if I save and then run this, the the meta uh, tag they don't display at all. The only thing that's displayed is our title right here. All right. So the last uh, element we're going to look at uh, for our head section is the link element. It's a it's an empty element just like the meta element and link. Now we're going to add some attributes to it, and so what is what are we going to do with the link? Well, we're going to display an icon, um, as if we, over here, if I run this one, this icon right here, this is what we're trying to display with the link uh, element. And so in order to do this, uh, first we got to let the let the uh, link element know what we're trying to do, and we do that with a real attribute, uh, and we're going to display an icon. So the value we want to set is icon. All right, space and well, it needs to know where to find this icon. Well, we're putting this icon in the same folder, and in order to tell it where this icon is, we use that href, and then the value is uh, I named mine fave icon and dot ic ico. All right. And this is all you need to put. You don't need to put HTTP, uh, you know, www. anything like that. If the file is located in the same folder, and that's what we're going to do. I have my fav, uh, fav icon right here, and I'm just going to drag it and put it in the same folder as my web page. And this will work. All right. Uh, later on, we'll learn how to link to it outside the folder, or maybe in a, you know, subfolder such as that. We'll, we'll learn all that but right now we're going to keep it in the same folder make it easy on us. Uh, a couple of notes about uh, the um, uh, a fave icon. Uh, you, you want to always have it a dot ICO uh, file type. Uh, the reason being is older versions of Internet Explorer they won't display it unless that's what it is unless that's the type of file it is you can create fave icons with different programs but uh, probably the easiest way to get started creating them is using this website right here and I'll go ahead and copy that and paste it over here uh, yeah you can go to that web page you can create your one if you want to you can add it into the same folder and you can try this at home and it'll display and I'll go ahead and get this on the same page too. Maybe it'll help me remember to add it. There we go. Alright. So we have we have the fave icon in the same folder as our web page. We have uh, our link uh, element complete with both attributes that we need to display the fave icon. So let's go ahead and save and let's run. Alright. We still have nothing in the body so that's going to uh, this content down here in the web browser is going to be empty but we do have our fave icon right here and we do have our title uh, display okay so that that is 
the basics of, of coding the head section of your HTML5 document. Uh, I will hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. If you if you do enjoy our content, please uh, like us, co uh, subscribe, comment, and uh, our next uh, video I believe is going to be going over how to code text elements. So I will see you then. Y'all have a great day.